again, thank you for watching. Picture it, 1972, Paris. Attendees of Integrity Toys 2021 convention, Obsession, were invited to participate in a style lab featuring Poppy Parker and Ginger Gilroy in 1972, Paris. Main convention package holders were able to pick from an assortment of five nude dolls and five curated outfits that were sold separately so that collectors could mix and match. So this is the box for the American in Paris fashion from the 2021 Poppy Parker Style Lab. And as you can see, it's got this really beautiful retro motif. And it also has the Poppy Parker Style Lab logo on it. Also, on the side of the box, it has that logo. And it also has it on the top of the box as well. So I'm just going to pull back and get this fashion open. I'd like to open from the bottom of the box. And let's see if I can... Get this liner out. Oh, that was a certificate of authenticity. Oh, wait a minute. Look at those boots. I see denim. It looks like real, like denim, denim, like denim. And look at this. Is this like a coat or cloak or something like that? I saw pictures, but I couldn't quite, I can't remember. And then there's this hat here. Let's Go in. So it looks like we've got some jewelry here, which includes some shades, a large hat, and it feels like like suede. Is this a suede? What? what? I, I, somebody tell me. And look at this. Under, I just want to open this. Look at this. And look at this chain here. This is really nice. And this looks like real... I, okay, this is nice. And then we've got these really beautiful boots. Let me pull back. This is a lot to unpack. This is the American in Paris fashion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of the pieces out so that we could take a closer look to see all the pieces that come with the American in Paris fashion. So these are the items that you get in the American in Paris fashion pack. So I'm going to actually start with the fashions themselves and so I'm going to start with this and I wanted to show you that the cape has holes in the arm in which the turtleneck sweater can be you can put the arms right through so very cool I'm going to remove the cloak for just a moment so that you can see it's fully lined inside and of course, it's got the little IT label. Love that. This is the collar. And on the front, it's got this little faux button with the little chain with the latch. But I don't think it actually does it. Oh, wait a minute. So I wanted to show you a couple of details about the front of the cloak. Number one, look at the button and chain detail. It's very cool. It also gives us an opportunity to take a really close look at that print that's on the cloak. But another thing is, is that to make it easier, oh, thank you, Integrity, for this. But look, you, all you have to do is just open it up and look, it's a magnet. It actually holds with a magnet. So very, very cool. I love that detail. The next piece I wanna show you is of course this turtleneck sweater and it's very cool, it's long sleeve. And as you turn this around, you can see the belt is actually real, very cool. And the, as you can see, it's got the little latches in the back, so you don't have to worry about messing up your doll's hair, trying to pull this over her head or anything like that. The latches are in the back, makes it very easy. So I'm gonna turn this around so that you can see some detail, and I'm going to actually do a 360 with a couple of the looks with the American in Paris fashion, but I did wanna show you some detail in the fashions before I actually place them on the doll. But look at the detail of this sweater. I mean, it's really, 
really nice. And honestly, I'm looking at how it translates on video. It's actually much more lush in person, which is really strange to me. I can't describe to you how it looks in person, but it's, it's just, it looks a lot more lush. That's all I can say. So I'm going to remove this. Oh, of course, I need to show you that buckle detail. Look at the belt. Very cool. I'm always looking for a good belt for my dolls. So very cool. I'm going to remove this from the... Okay, I guess I have to do it properly. One moment, please. So I wanted you to see the jeans next. And this really feels like denim, honestly. This must be... I mean, it's really like thin but it feels like real material. It's very, very cool. And as you can see, it tapers down towards the base of the leg, pants leg, so that it can be tucked into the boot, in which I will show you in just a bit. I'm going to zoom in so that you can see the detail of the jeans. And it's got little pockets, and it looks like these are pockets that you can actually put your doll's hands into. And this is the back of the jeans. And as you can see, that's how you actually open and close the jeans. It's not like in real life with us humans where it's in the front. It's actually opens and closes with a latch in the back for a nice fitting. And as you can see, it's got the little pockets in the back as well. A couple of other things I wanted to show you was, of course, the jewelry. Now, you don't get a lot of jewelry in this set, but you do get a lot of other items, so it kind of balances itself out. One of the things I also did want to note is I don't see a purse that comes with this outfit, so just to know, if you were expecting one, don't. So <laughs> anyway, you get a pair of gold hoop earrings and you also get uh, some gold shades, which I will show you in just a bit when we do our 360. In addition, I've mentioned it a few times, you also get this pair of suede Boots. And I'm telling you, they feel like suede to me. And they're really, really nice. This is like real luxury for your dolls, honestly. David Buttry did a really phenomenal job. I wanted to show you the, the zipper on the back of the boot. That's how you're going to remove it and put it on and all that kind of stuff, which makes it so much easier. And I'm just going to zoom in so that you can see the detail on the boot as well. Let's go in. And it's got the little, just, I love the little zippers. It's just super cute. One last thing I want, actually it's a couple things more I want to show you. The next thing is the suede hat or faux suede hat. I'm not sure what it is, but it feels like it to me. And it's super cute, but that's not all you get. You of course get, a certificate of authenticity. That's how you know your stuff is real. And this is shows that the edition size is 1300. So what I'd like to do next is I'd actually like to gather all of these items and put them on a doll and do a couple of 360s so that we can see what this outfit actually looks like. So here's the first look for the American in Paris fashion modeled by alluring Poppy Parker. Let's do a 360. It's so interesting how an outfit or jewelry or whatever can sometimes make a huge difference in how you look at a doll. And that has happened with the American in Paris fashion. It certainly has me looking at alluring Poppy Parker in a different way. And that's a good thing. So here she is with the accessories on from the American in Paris fashion. And she looks super cute in it. It's really, really looks good on her. And you can see where her hair ends. And also the back of those boots. Very cute. I'm going to go back up so that you can see more detail of the belt and the sweater. And look at the detail on the jeans. I can't tell you just the quality of these and the boots. I mean, this is really high quality 
items that we have here. I was super impressed. Look at this material. I mean, she looks really good. They did such a great job. I'm, I'm so shocked by the detail that we get with this outfit. And of course, I just want to do a close-up of the poppy with the accessories. She makes those look really good, doesn't she? One of the things I wanted to also mention was about the jeans and the boots. What's interesting, I was a little bit nervous about how the jeans would fit, you know, getting these boots on over the jeans. And I must tell you, I had no problems or issues or forcing or anything like that whatsoever. They used a really thin denim fabric and it worked and was sized so well with these boots that I had no difficulty. So that is the first look for American in Paris modeled by Alluring Poppy Parker. So here is the second look for the American in Paris fashion modeled by Alluring Poppy Parker. Let's do a 360. So as you can see, the cape and the hat do make a big difference with this outfit. And it is, I think actually this cape is gonna be a very highly sought item in the doll world later on. We'll find out a year from now. Let's go in, as you can see, she's got her hat jauntily to the side and also the little chain is attached on her little cloak. You can see her long, beautiful hair, but more importantly, look at the detail in the fabrics here. And you can see how the arm fits out of the hole. She can hold her glasses. I saw the little IT label, which is always cool to me. And then of course, these lovely boots. Also, if I have not mentioned the display stand that you see in this video does not come with the doll. The doll and the fashion, neither one of them come with display stand. So just an FYI. I'm gonna go in just so that we can see more of that fabric. Ah. Oh. So cool. And then I do want to take a look at her. Just at this. Yeah, this is a really, these are some really nice pieces in the American in Paris fashion. And that is the second look. I would like to welcome our panel. First, we have model and socialite, Ginger Gilroy. Next, we have fashion icon and queen of Mattel, Barbie. And last but never least, actress, model, singer, Alyssa Rodriguez. Okay, so the question for the panel is, I would like to have your thoughts on the alluring Poppy Parker wearing the American in Paris fashion. So Ginger, I'm gonna start with you. What are your thoughts on alluring Poppy Parker wearing the American in Paris fashion? And you have a note, of course, and you say, Poppy needs to stay in her own hair color lane. Oh no, she didn't. Ginger, you can't be the only redhead in the house. I like to see a red-headed Poppy as well. And Barbie, what are you... Wait a minute. Did you call your attorneys again? Uh, what do you say? I see what's going on here. I'm sure that was just merely a coincidence. Just a coincidence. <laughs> and Alyssa, what are your thoughts on alluring Poppy Parker in the American in Paris fashion? 
And you have a note, of course. And you say, I must have that cape. Molly, you in danger, girl. <laughs> well, Alyssa, maybe if you ask Poppy nicely, she'll loan it to you. All right, well, thank you, panel. <laughs> So the American in Paris fashion is a really, really good set to get your hands on. Number one, as an ensemble, it's super cute, but individually it has some really good pieces. This cape cloak thing here is super cute, and I have a feeling it's going to be a Poppy Parker grail. Also, the boots are really good quality, but one of the things I did really want to point out to me that really were superb were the jeans. These are actually one of the best doll jeans that I have ever encountered. They fit really well. They feel great. They, it looks like you can do lots of posing and stuff with this uh, jean material and not have any kind of bulky uh, limitations. So this is a really good set if you have not gotten your hands on it. So if you like this video, and I hope that you did, then please make sure that you click the like button. That's how I know that you like my videos. Also, if you've not yet subscribed, then please make sure that you hit the subscribe button somewhere over there, and you'll get notified of when I come up with new videos just like this one. So thanks again for watching, and I hope you have a fabulous day.